All right, guys, welcome back to war number uh, six in Alliance War Season 45. We're going to start off with Cassie against the Thing on uh, Reinvigorated Fury and the uh, Unblockable. Uh, we're going to go in here and just try and keep up the slow the entire time. The first couple heavies don't actually put the slow on, so it kind of had me uh, concerned going in. But there we get the slow on because we're a global attacker, so knocking down has a chance to put on... Uh, like we should be able to put on a slow and then we can kind of ignore his rock stacks the rest of the way but at the same time we have to keep um, uh, a combination of keeping up the um, his uh, power stings the entire time from Cassie in order to help uh, mitigate the healing also want to make sure that we keep applying those poisons that every time uh, we can get one of those pim particle uh, charges, then we have a chance to then do a full combo into a light in order to keep the poison on. So again, here he's at 14 rock stacks, and uh, I'm getting going for another knockdown here, and right at 14 again, so that we keep the slow on and we can keep it going again. Light ending combos to keep the poison up, which is also going to help with mitigating the healing. And then uh, after that is really pretty much the same the whole way through. Again, taunts with the special one to keep him throwing specials. If he keeps throwing specials, he keeps refreshing the uh, the power stings, and we're able to take him down fairly quickly. Next up is a long shot. The long shot is um, annoying uh, because it is masochism and vigorous assault. So we're gonna uh, hit into him right away. Put the withers on from the global. Then I try to shrink down there, and there goes my invulnerability boost right away. Uh, so now, again, nice little intercept. Bait the special ones, but I get clipped a little bit by it. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, again, tried to shrink down, got the last hit in on him. And again, here in the corner, he doesn't want to attack in. I almost get st stuck by his stand your ground, but we get the last hit in. And really, all it is here is going to be, again, uh, keep getting... Uh, he's unblockable pretty much the entire fight. So as long as I can uh, bait and evade the uh, special ones, get a couple nice little intercepts there. Intercept into the special two was nice. Shrink down there again to get the heavy on and get some... Uh, we really want to get some power stings. Ideally, we want to trigger the masochism first, then shrink down and get some power stings on so they don't get eaten by the masochism. There, uh, I tried to go for a heavy again, but he had stand your ground again, so he resisted. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world, but uh, we've done this one a bunch of times, so uh, sometimes the AI is a bit more passive, sometimes it's a, really, uh, a lot more aggressive. We prefer the aggressive AI on this one. Again, same thing, hit into the block, shrink down, use get our striker into another heavy. Nice little combination there. And again, he doesn't have great specials that you can attack in afterwards. So I'm not I can't really attack in after the special one. I have to kind of wait for him to turtle up. Go hit into the block again, shrink down, and rinse and repeat. So get a couple nice little uh, heavies there in a row. And he's just about finished now. He does have recoil on also, so that just makes the fight even easier. So uh, next up, we went from path one in section one to path three in section two. We're going to take Nebula against Viv, and we've had mixed reactions with this one. And this is one of the better uh, fights we've had. We go with the uh, advanced power boost. So we start with one bar of power, bait the heavy attack there. We're glancing. Well, now we're holding... We're holding block in order to get our um, uh, shock charges up. So we're up to 11, we're up to 12, up to 13. Bait another heavy in the corner. Block the full special one. Doesn't matter if we take a little bit of damage. We want to get to 20. Parry into special two and watch Viv melt. Perfect nebula fight there. One of the best ones we've had on the season. And then we've got Magneto against future Ant-Man. Um, with uh, static shock and immunity, uh, and like the um, glancing with the when he has armors, but again we're gonna we're, we're Magneto against Future Ant Man, and as long as we can parry heavy against this guy, it is super easy. Okay. 
get a nice little, just be patient, uh, build up our prowess as we parry heavy the entire time, and then we're going to drop a big old special three on him. Again, evade and counter that special one a little bit. I don't want to really push him to a special two, so we're just getting the parry heavies in. We've already taken out almost 50% of his health, and then we're going to try and just give him a big old special three here. So again, nice little counter, charge up to 39 prowess. And there we go. How much does the special three do here? So we take out, we almost take him out completely with this. Yeah, take him out completely with the special three. That was nice. Now we're going to go to phase uh, one, path three. We're going with the main account. We got a Hulkling is going to take on these first couple fights. That Nimrod with like the spaced or sloped armor, whichever one it is. I Basically, I get special locked, uh, but not power locked. So I can go ahead, build the two bars of power, and then use Hulkling's ability to get the unblockable through uh, hitting into his block. And special two, he's done. Same with uh, Hulkbuster here. Sometimes his shocks are really annoying, but again, Hulkbuster is shock immune, so there's nothing to worry about here at all. Same thing, we're just gonna build up to two bars of power. And then we're gonna drop a good old Special two on him. There we go, hit into the block, trigger the special two. Bait another special one from him. And easy fight with Hulkling. Next, uh, we're going to go all the way to path one in section two. We're going to go Viv Vision against Morbius here. And I did test this out so that Viv can actually um, phase through his uh, psionic uh, like dash. There we get the special two off. He throws the special one. Uh, as long as we end our combos in mediums, we apply the passive heal block. So there's nothing to worry about on this node at all in terms of his healing. I'm just going to wait for him to throw his uh, special here. Then I can start throwing my unblockable special ones. That's one. That's two. And that's three. Goodbye. Perfect fight with Viv Vision. Next. Uh, this Adam Warlock, I'd love to have the fight back and redo it again. Uh, I make a stupid mistake. It's Buffet. Um, so I know that you're not supposed to hit into him after his special two. And, uh, and at 25%, he's going to get his uh, Cocoon. So we bait the special one nicely there. We get off our special two right away. Tons of damage. We get like perfect five solar bursts there. And after that first special two, we back off. We don't hit into the stasis pod. Okay, we do a good job there. We don't hit into it. Everything is working out perfect. I get a couple special ones off in a row here. Or I get one special one. And now I'm, uh, I couldn't get a second one off because he still had a bar of power. So I get the second one there. Uh, and it triggers the stasis pod. So I back off. Hit him with another one, but it's not doing too much. So, okay, I figure, okay, might as well build back to the special. Uh, but there, I forgot about the special two again there. Hit into it by mistake, just out of habit, which was really annoying. And I had this fight in the bag, okay? I go ahead, and I'm like, okay, I'm not doing much there on the special ones. Let's just build up to another special two again, and we can basically get this guy down. So special two, we wait out the stasis pod. we got to get some... Uh, medium combos in so that we can get that passive heal block on. Okay, he throws the special one. Very nice. We go for the special two. It gets him down to one freaking percent. All I got to do is tap this guy. Go for a parry. Doesn't work. Second parry. Doesn't work. So two parries in a row. Garbage. Doesn't do anything. And there we go. I had one more hit and he's done. So I really tried to parry there and it was just annoying. Uh, Danny Moonstar on um, prowess unblockable power snack uh, again viv with heavies can get rid of prowess and uh, we can phase through here and if she does get prowess we can get rid of it but i wasn't really too worried about that uh, when she gets her illusion uh, you hit in you're going to trigger a falter so i just want to make sure that um, i trigger the falter then back out so that i don't do it like uh when I'm trying to go for a like hits. 
But again, special two. We get a nice, perfect five solar burst. So all we really just need to push Danny to throw a special one here. Get our special one going, and then we can nuke the rest of this fight. So again, we get to one bar. I need Danny to throw her special. I miss a striker there. That's fun. Trigger the uns trigger the falter, so that's good. I just need her to throw another special. There we go. And unblockable special one. Followed by another unblockable special one. And down goes Danny Moonstar. Next, we've got uh, Void here against Rintra. Uh, Void as a global attacker. Rintra as a global defender. Scared stiff. Power focus two. I'm not worried about uh, Rintra's special two. But... Uh, I can basically just, uh, I'm a little worried about the root. So I just want to make sure that I continue to get off hits the entire time. And I want to make sure that I keep up the, um, the slow the entire time. So I want to keep making sure I get as many knockdowns as I can on Rintra to keep reapplying the slow. And here I just keep countering Rintra's special one with heavies and special ones. And I'm keeping an eye on that timer, um, up, like below void on the right hand side, because um, that's the like the um, scared stiff. So that if I don't get a hit by in like six seconds or whatever it is, I'm not gonna I'm gonna get rooted. I don't want to get rooted because it's very annoying. So we're just gonna continue to get in as many hits as we can on Rintra, and I don't have to worry about much at all. Void absolutely shreds on that fight next and last i think this is last but not least we've got a dr doom uh we're going to take cassie against rear invigorated unblockable burden of might high energy diet so again energy damage isn't going to do much but we're just going to rely on power stings we're also shock immune so we don't have to worry um too much about getting doom slapped and if you apply a slow to doom you don't have to worry about his aura at all so you can see there, no issue on the aura. So we go for a combo into a special one. Keep those power stings up. And the taunt makes him throw that special one even more. And now we're up to 12 power stings. So we're going to go again and shrink down. Get it up to 16 power stings. And again, keep applying that special one. So he keeps throwing those specials. And this is like Cassie at her finest here. Because now we're just... We just keep reapplying the power stings over and over and over again. They keep ramping up 17 power stings. Again, special one. And every time he throws another special, he is just melting away. Again, keep applying the taunt on the special one. And down goes uh, Doom. So this was a really nice fight from uh, Cassie. Hope you enjoyed the war, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.